This is an instructional video for an Agilent 33220A function generator. First thing you want to do is make sure that it's hooked up to power. And once that is done, you can uh, hook up the output of this, which you can read is right here, using BNC to whichever circuit or device you're working with. Once this is done, uh, you can turn on the power using the power key. Uh, this uh, function generator actually takes a little longer to boot up uh, than average ones uh, or older ones, I guess. It, it's a, a little more complex, so it takes more time. Okay, so once it's fired up, um, the only real difference between this and, and any other standard function generator is that it has numbers. Uh, so that way you can enter exactly uh, what values you want. Uh, again here, uh, you've got the keys in the first big row uh, which define the uh, si or the type of, of wave you've got. You've got sine, square, ramp, pulse, noise, and arbitrary. Okay, uh, there are also some other useful things at, in the bottom part, uh, but those are probably outside what you'd need to do in a typical circuits course. Alright, so let's start with a sine wave and then if we want to change uh, characteristics of the sine wave what we would do is uh, use these blue soft keys corresponding to things going on on the screen so you can see that there's frequency, amplitude, and offset. Okay, so uh, for frequency you simply click on frequency. If you click it again, it allows you to set the period rather than the frequency, uh, but we'll stick with frequency. And then if you want to actually modify it, what you do is you type in the value you want. Okay, once you've typed in that value, you see that uh, the soft keys now correspond to uh, certain uh, frequency ranges. You have millihertz, microhertz, hertz, kilohertz, and megahertz. Um, and if you don't like any of those options, you can cancel and go back to what you had. But let's choose Hertz for now. All right, you can also change the amplitude uh, by using the soft key under there. Uh, and you can set this, for example, to be 1. And then you have all these options. You could do uh, millivolt peak to peak, peak to peak, uh, millivolt RMS, volt RMS. Um, so we can choose vo volt peak to peak. Uh, but realize that uh, the name peak to peak doesn't actually mean what the uh, function generator is doing. It actually gives you uh, plus and minus one volt in this case. Okay, so lastly, uh, you can set the offset. Uh, you can move the center of the uh, waveform up or down. And you can change that, change the type of waveform to square or ramp, uh, etc. All right, so once you have all of your settings the way that you would like to, like them, um, you actually need to uh, click on something before you can actually uh, get any output, and that's simply output. And when output lights up green, uh, then you are able to uh, send an output out.